This is Stubby. It's our long-term Ram Classic 1500, and it's one of the least expensive four-wheel drive trucks you can buy in America at $38,000. So it's not exactly cheap, but it's not that expensive. Isn't that right, Nathan? That's correct. Or you can get a different full-size truck, one that costs twice as much. This is the Ram Rebel GT, and yeah, it's a lot more expensive. So in this video, we're gonna find out if you pay twice as much, do you get twice as much truck by taking both of them up from Stone Hill? So for $38,000, you may be wondering, what do you get? Well, first and foremost, you get two less cylinders than that Ram GT over there. This is the Pentastar, so you also get less horsepower. You also don't get the beefy off-road tires, but you do get Goodyear Wranglers, which for us seem to be working quite well, especially for everyday use. Now, you do get two less doors, but <laughs> seating for three. But here's where it comes to the payoff. You get a much larger bed. So if you're looking for a truck that works as a work truck, this is much more truck, even though it's much less money. That's right. I've got the sticker right here, $76,675, basically twice as much as Stubby. But what you get is a 395 horsepower, 5.7 liter V8 under the hood, puts out 410 pound-feet of torque, it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission. That's one of the few things these things have in common is the transmission. But it's very different because this is really built for off-road, so it has an off-road suspension. It has armor underneath. It has off-road Wrangler tires. It also has one of my favorite things, an exhaust system made from heaven. And it also has an intake. That's part of the GT package. And then interior. Well, it's leather. It's gorgeous. It's comfortable. It's far nicer, obviously, than stubby. And it also has a proper gear lever. I'm thinking about asking Roman to actually go into the vehicle and grabbing something hard and pulling it back. So Nathan, I want to we'll make this a little bit more interesting, right? This hill we usually use to test like mid-sized crossovers, right? Yeah, stuff like that. And these trucks are much more off-road worthy. So mm. you pay twice as much money. I'll be curious to see if you can make it up two-wheel drive. Okay, I uh, I got better tires for sure. So I'm, I'll try two wheel drive. <laughs> okay, and I'll see if I can make it, you know, in two wheel drive. And then if I can, I'll switch to four wheel drive. Uh, but I'd be curious to see if that could make it up in two wheel drive. It's going to be an interesting test. All right, here we go. Now, of course, um, we, whoa, we already hit the <laughs> already hit the front. I think. Yeah, the 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 chin is pretty. Uh, we're going far. Oh, there it goes. We got it. Momentum, dude. Oh, well, you know me. I'd be going a little bit <laughs> Poor Stubby. Poor Stubby in two-wheel drive trying to make it. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like going up this at all in two-wheel drive. No, I'm going to have to switch to four-wheel drive. Yes, you are. I'm going to have to switch to four-wheel drive. Yeah, it's not going to make it. All right, here we go. Four-wheel drive. Now, this should be cake for this truck. Now we bought this because we wanted to buy the cheapest uh, four-wheel drive truck you could buy. In this class. In this class, yeah, 1500 um, full-size truck. And the unique thing about Stubby, of course, is that it's the last generation Ram. It's not even the same Well, it's generation. a classic, yeah, but they're still building them. People are still buying them, so they're popular. Yeah, and when we bought it, we thought $38,000 was a, you know, a lot of money. It is a lot of money. <laughs> but now, with trucks going, you know... It's just ridiculous. 70, 80, 90 thousand dollars, it seems like quite the bargain. Yeah, yeah, and you know, we've been doing a lot of stuff with Stubby and really taxing this little truck, and everybody at the studio loves it. Yeah, it's a fun truck. Yeah, it really is a fun truck, and it's a very useful truck. You know, if I was a contractor, somebody who really didn't need to tow a lot, but everything else I wanted to be able to do, this would be an ideal little truck, and it's just, it does everything we ask of it, including being tortured by you. Yeah, you know, and um, I think we have to try the harder side, right? So that was truth, but let's mm -hmm. try let's try Dare now. I'm going to go back down here uh, and see how it does. The biggest downside is that, like, chin spoiler. 
Which Andre has removed before, but yeah. he's not here to remove it. Well, you did that video, right, where you compared the difference. And there is a difference. There's a significant... There's a real reason why they hang that thing so low, and that's to make sure this thing gets the best EPA numbers. But the other side of it is, honestly, if I owned this thing, that would be the first thing I took off. Yeah, there's a video um, that you and Andre did in our Let's Find Out series. Yeah. Where you actually take the spoiler off and then go down the highway and see what kind of fuel economy mm -hmm. difference it makes. And I would highly recommend you guys go and watch that. Uh, and uh, we could do a link to it in the in the comments or in the uh, in the little description. It's below. worthwhile. And, you know, the jury is still out on, you know, how much difference it really can make and also different types of trucks and whether or not it makes a difference on them. But there's a real good reason why <laughs> automakers put those things on these trucks. All right, all right, here we go. Now we're oh, okay. Gonna, now we're gonna go up uh, Dare, which is you know pretty cliffy. And I know on video this doesn't look like it's very steep, but it's pretty steep, dude. Yeah, there's a good reason why I'm holding on to the oh no handle. <laughs> and so I'm gonna take the hard line through here, which is uh, staying to our right. So I expect you to do the same thing with that expensive truck of yours. <laughs> oh, happily. All right. So now we're gonna see how this does, because now we're gonna get into some. Yeah, it's it's your approach issue is gonna be the problem. Yeah. yeah there we go. There we go. Yeah, it's doing okay. You know, considering it ha these are stock tires still, right? Yeah, these are the stock tires, yeah. Not bad, huh? Good little truck. Whoa. Yeah, there's a little rub. There's a little rub. That's bad. The thing about this truck, the one thing that it has, well, two things it has over that big uh, Ram GT, yeah. is that this is a lot lighter. A lot lighter. And it's a much shorter wheelbase, and as such, it is much more maneuverable much more maneuverable yeah but the shocks are kind of it's not yeah really happy yeah. having to flex over these things no and the tires obviously are not thrilled about trying to gather traction but at the same time it managed to do it pretty well in four-wheel drive yeah but yeah i'll try the whole thing in a two-wheel drive see what we can do all right let's find out hey see I did another let's find out let's video. find out <laughs> You can get a lot of other trucks besides that. So I could get Stubby, plus get this. I could get every compact truck, which includes your Santa Cruz. Yeah, yeah, of And course. the Maverick. I could probably get every midsize truck. Pretty much almost all the trims, except for the very, very top trims. So that thing better be twice as good going up the hill. Or uh -huh. maybe, dare I say it, one truck is good because that's what I could buy for the price difference between these two. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, Nathan, I gotta say, I am impressed by the interior of this truck. Isn't it nice? Yeah. yeah. Ram always does up a nice, even in Stubby, it's a usable interior, but this one, it's a luxurious interior. Yeah, instead of plastics, you've got leather. Instead mm -hmm. of a little tiny screen, you got this monster screen. You even have uh, basically air suspension, which lets you raise and lower the truck. Indeed, I do. And um, I'm keeping it in two wheel drive, as you requested. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go, it's not gonna let me go any higher on the right height. So what I have here is there's sort of a standard height. Yep. Uh, once I put it in a four wheel drive, if I had to, then it'll let me go more. Now, another thing I have is axle lock, but it'll only do that, I believe, in four wheel drive. You're already stuck. I know, it's really funny. Here we go. <laughs> wow, traction control kicked in, it's totally stopping me from moving. That's hysterical. Let me back up a little bit. And give it a little bit of a run. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I started it in this, I think it's the weight of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So All the right. tires didn't play such a... Such a <laughs> they will, they right, will. Right, try, <laughs> try it again. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, traction control is really being a big nanny right now. But if I turn it off, I'm just going to sit there and spin those tires all day long. Yeah, well, now it's doing it. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm going to have to kick it out a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, that's I got my foot all the way down. Traction control is completely killing everything. Foot's all the way down right now, Roman. All um, the way down. It may kill the momentum, which will kill the progress. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. And, but we made it further. All right, go, go to four wheel. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do more than that. You do four wheel <laughs> auto or four wheel high? Uh, auto would probably be more than enough. That's the other thing that's different about this truck. Uh, Stubby really crabs when you have it in four. Mm -hmm. uh, even for hide. Uh, this won't crab, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, it, and you lock the rear axle. Of course axle I too. do. But if, if I got the buttons, I've got to push the buttons. Right, I got to push the buttons. Go for it. Okay. Now it's so, be, but I'm still in high, I'm not in low. Now it's going to be a whole different story. All 
There we go. It's good. <laughs> it also has a lot more compliance. Oh, God. Stuff you like, you're, you're a lot of head bob. Yeah, you're shaking around a lot more. Yeah. You feel a lot more of the earth. This is far more. Well, it's an air suspension. Yeah. And, you know, some people, Ram fans are going to say, look, you get what you pay for. You get this really expensive suspension and all this other stuff. And you do, indeed. Are you willing to pay $76,000 for it? Now, this is a Ram Rebel. Yep. So, some of the stuff you can get, essentially, you run $56,000, I think, yep. for a Ram Rebel with most of this. And then you have to go up in the big package to get to, get to this level. The GT package, which is around $3,900. And this has everything else on top of that. So, this stacks it all the way up. I personally think that that's just a little too much money for a truck like this. As much as I love it, I wish it was just a little tiny, tiny bit less. But, dude, it can do everything the TRX can do, just not as fast. Yeah, and not as loud. Yeah, but the exhaust note on this is beautiful. It is, it is beautiful. beautiful. And that's the point of this, by the way. A lot of people out there really wanted a, the stuff that the TRX had, yeah. but they couldn't obviously afford or even get it for that matter, especially when it was originally new. Ram was really smart about this, and they said, okay, we'll give you a whole bunch of the goodies, including the shifter, which I really do prefer, and it's a great engine note and some pretty good capability, and you don't have to spend the insane amount of money to get the TRX you still have essentially a Rebel. Just a really good sounding Rebel. Then you also have twice as much depreciation, huh. <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. we rarely talk about depreciation. Because it hasn't happened. <laughs> it hasn't happened over the last couple I of years. I know, used car prices and used truck prices are ridiculous. All right, go up there, let's yeah. see what this does. Here we go. I think this is just gonna walk up there. Oh yeah, it's not gonna have a problem. Now, the other thing that um, people are probably thinking about is, you don't have to get a Rebel to get the four-wheel drive in a full-size truck from Ram. No, no, not at all. I right. mean, well, look at your truck. Right. You know, yeah. the, it, and you can go and take a classic and you can still beef that up and make that almost as off-road capable as this right out of the box. Or you could just get the latest version with four-wheel drive. You don't need to get all the fancy schmancy stuff in here. Right. But, but I kind of feel like uh, when you have both ends of the spectrum, it gives you kind of a better comparison, right? Because it, it's it's not subtle. Well, that's why we're doing this because an awful lot of you guys, and I totally agree with you, is saying, look, prices are just out of control, and whenever an automaker gives you a truck like this one, they're really really expensive. And you're right, they're absolutely at the top because they want you guys to see what you can get as a sort of a halo truck. But an awful lot of us working Joes out there cannot afford. 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars on a pickup truck. Yeah, and then there's, then there's always going to be the guy or gal with the comment, well, I went to my local dealership and they gave me fifty thousand dollars off, right? Oh, Guys, right. come on, let's just be real, okay? We're just talking about the sticker price. We yeah. know that sometimes you can get a deal, deal but it's that most people can't, right? Especially right now, especially right now. So, so you know, save your uh. Um, your humble bragging for Facebook. <laughs> or better yet, brag to Andre. He loves hearing that from you guys. <laughs> yeah, this thing just, it, it, I was taking it easy with it. Yeah. Because it's stupid expensive, but I, it, it didn't care. It was fine. Yeah, so um, I love this truck, uh, but I'm still kind of 36,000, dude. That's a big number. And at the end of the day, while I've been ensconced in luxury with all the fineries, uh, that you know you can get all the safety features all of the big screen all the leather um i'm kind of feeling like uh, the smarter choice might be to just go in this case uh cheaper than more expensive but i'd love to get your opinion tell you what i'll tell you at the end of this perfect once we get down the hill safely hopefully perfect <laughs>is the GT worth twice as much as Stubby? I love the GT. It's fun to drive, it sounds great, it's comfortable, it's a wonderful truck, but it's not worth two of those. It's just not. You know what would make it worth uh, two of these? Hmm. Uh, the Hellcat engine. <laughs> Suddenly, yes. And here's the crazy part. The TRX, when we got it, was about the price of this, but now it's gone through the roof. So yeah, if it was a TRX, I would say yes, it is worth it. So sometimes that Goldilocks just right 
isn't maybe the most uh, economical, shall we say, option. If it were my money, I'd probably go for the TRX or I'd go for Stubby and skip the stuff in between. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. Yeah, I really like Stubby though, especially after I desecrated its uh, body with all the graphics, but- Yeah, we won't talk about that. We're, try we're trying not to go there, <laughs> trying to keep a good mood, Nathan. Yeah, bottom line is that as great as this is, it's not quite worth two of those. Nathan, I just thought of one more thing that's double that may sway people. Okay. Uh, the GT Toast 10,500. Actually, I think even more than that. It might be slightly higher. Stubby Toast 5,000. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, which is not really grand. Yes, but Stubby can hold more payload than this Rebel, and that's because of the off-road suspension setup and everything else. So if you need payload, go for the work truck, but if you need towing, go for the full-size GT. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. This has just been a fun video to kind of give you an idea of the spread of new truck pricing today. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying check out alltfl.com for all of our videos. See you guys next time. Ciao.